Greeting from Global Project Control. In this session, we want to talk about how you can export your project in Primavera P6 software. This is my project and if I open it, you can find that this project include a baseline. If I schedule it to the next week, then you can find that I have two gun charts. The first one is referred to the current project and the yellow one is referred to my baseline. So right now I want to export the project. The first option on the export is Primavera P6 XER file. This is official extension for Oracle. So over here, you can select the version of your recipient file. Let me to use the 90.12, then go to the project, you can export all the project resource only or rule only then over here you can select one or two if you open already more than one project then you can select how many projects you want to export and the last item is refer to the export Right now, I only export my project. But you have another option for Primavera P6 contractor. If you want to send this project to the other Oracle software, Primavera contractor, then you can select the version and and export the project like this. But you can also export the project with XML format. What is the difference between XML and XER? By XML format, you have this option to export also the baseline, include the project. You can select the baseline over here. If you press the baseline to export, then this dialog box is going to be open and you can select your current baseline. Then if you proceed, you have these two options. Export XML file in a compress or ex export all project level and layout. And over here, you can select the route for your export. Let me to select this and Finish it and waiting for the software result. It's a little bit take time, but by this item, you can export the project with baseline simultaneously. But right now, let's do check it. If I'm going to import the XCR file, I have two options for import. If I import this project, I can update it, update this project. I can replace it, ignore it, create a new one or add into existing project. Let me to update it. So I need to select the match project with this. I should open this item and select this project because maybe more than one project is already open. So you need to under modify, select what kind of data you need to keep or kind of data you need to update. And 
finish and waiting for the sulfur result. This import was successful. But about in this case, I'm not going to add any extra project by using import. But you have other item for import Prima Raw P6 by XML. You need to select the XML file. Again, I select the export folder and only this project appear. Let me to select it. You have some option over here. This is my project ID. This is my import action. Again, I can find the update existing, ignore the project or create a new one. And I can select it where I want to import it. I want to import it to this EPS. And if you want to import it, how many baseline you want to be import, you can select the baseline and without matching. Then I'm going to use the default templating. If you want to change something, you have these two options over here. And finish. Waiting for the result. In this case, you are going to import two project, the current project and the baseline of current project. So a little bit take a time. Right now, my process successfully completed. And I close this one and this is the GPC-2 because GPC-1 is available. Let me to open the current project, go to the activity sheet. And as you see, I have two project. And if I go to the assign baseline and select the second project, which already imported, this project is not include assign any baseline. But if I open this list box, I have the sample plan baseline for assign. So this project have a same baseline like this project. By using XML format for export data, you can export your project, include your baseline. But if you don't want to export the project by XML format, what is the solution? Let me to remove the second project. You need to, in this case, you need to open the project first. Go to the assign baseline and deassign your baseline. Then you need to go to the maintain baseline and restore your project. Then this project going to be appear in the list of your project. And you need to select both of them simultaneously open to project. If I go to the activity section, you can find two projects already open. One of them is a little bit started earlier. One of them a little bit started later. The difference between two is my schedule. Because I scheduled this project to the 31 of October, but this is the baseline. My baseline started on 24 of October. Right now, I need to use the export by XCR file formatting and select the project. Over here, you can select both of the project and go for next.
project plus baseline. Then if you want to assign the baseline project to the project again, you need to open the project first. Please be careful, only the current project should be open. The baseline project should be closed. And on the Maintain Baseline menu, select Add, use Convert Another Project to a new baseline of current project. Then press OK and over here you can select the next project as a baseline then it's removed from the list and added to the baseline project. Right now, I need to close this item, go to the assign baseline and assign again my baseline to the project. What about the file which I created? I need to go to the export and as you see I have only one file it's referred to the project and baseline then over here I need to go to the import then by XCR file I select this one and on the list I have two projects for import if I select both of them going to be create the new one by default configuration and waiting for the result. Then, as you see, I have two projects on, on my list. I need to open the second project. Again, go to the maintain baseline and assign the baseline. And the next step is baseline assignment. If you want to simultaneously export your project, include the baseline, I suggest you that to try by XML file formatting. I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Thank you for support us by your subscription. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.